Hey guys, Knight here. So, I wanted to jump on, record a quick video. I was just on live stream. I'll show you the task force. Just on live stream with Python, live stream with Mr. P7R. They gave me some great, great help with some hits. Turned my log around. I wasn't doing well. I actually fell back into 18 at one point. And I was, uh, I was up in mid 20, so I'm higher now, but there's the log. You can see they're fizzling on my base. I got a clear, clear, missed one, beat on percentage, missed one, beat him. He, he, did, he fizzled on me. I got two, got two, got two, clear. That was a loss. But you can see the hit's working. I'll show you the hit. So we're gonna drop one heavy. One boat of bombardiers, flare that mortar, and because my GBE is very low, I don't have any GBE nodes. I need to collect as much GBE as I can. So I'm gonna throw some critters on that boom cannon just to protect the bombardiers while they take it out. You can see two boats, that's all I got right now. Heavies and bombardiers, collecting GBE. This layout, whoever designed this base doesn't know how to design bases. Everything in the front, one boat of diddles takes out. So there's the other. One boat heavies, two boats bombardiers with Kavon. Kavon has been clutch for me. And then as soon as they get to the top of the ramp, boat of rifles goes out. And again, the same drop with the rifles. As soon as the last rifle is about to walk off, you launch the next landing craft. That way you get a continuous line. I was losing some heavies, I hit a second wind. It was an early second wind, but that came in clutch. And you can see dropping in the top right here is really keeping all the troops along that top right wall. That was Python. Python told me drop top right. So I started doing that. Look at it. They're all trickling in on the top right. This is amazing. Spreading out nice. Now I'm just working my shocks, keeping the RLs down, keeping that front wall of rifles and heavies. Look at that shock. Let's just pause that here. That shock hit both that doom cannon and that rocket launcher. So we're just continuing on. So at this point now, I'm just working my shocks. I'm keeping the RLs down. I don't want any of the bombardiers to die. Let's just pause this. Look at that line. That line of rifles right out in front with all the bombardiers in the back. That's what you want to get, guys. And then this was a free clear. That Doom Cannon doesn't do anything. And as you can see, I just kept shocking that rocket launcher and just take out. So that's the clear. So that's that, that layout. I'll show you this one. So you're going to see a lot of bases like this. A lot of bases with defense is up the center we'll show you what happens here so same idea <coughs> excuse me one boat heavies one boat bombardiers flare that mortar to keep the bombardiers in the back the heavies are protecting them from that boom cannon we're just going to let them free clear again collect some GBE I'll speed it up this is the same, same drop, nothing changed. Pause it. One boat heavies, two boat bombardiers with Kavon. These bombardiers here, what I'm watching for here is when they walk over that mine, as soon as they die, I'm gonna hit second win. So I bring all the bombardiers back up here. If I were to hit second win before they died, I would have brought back rifles or heavies. Thrown some critters to get rid of some of those mines. I only got tick one critters. By the way, that second wind trick, that was a Mr. P trick. He taught me that tonight. I would have gotten excited and probably hit second wind early. Let's just pause this for a second. Look at the tri look at the trickle of rifles coming in. Right along that line. That's a Python, Python trick right there. Going straight in, hit second win again. That meat shield in the front was getting a little low. 
Look at them. Rifle after rifle after rifle. Not one defense is hitting those bombardiers in the back right now. Cycling my shock down here on this rocket launcher. Not worrying about the mines. So at this point you can see my opponent retreated and I think he had gotten two ERs at this point. So I knew I had to get at least one more and I probably would have beat him on percentage. But then I realized I had another shock. So I'm gonna take out that ER. Let's just take a moment to love that shock. Look at that. Got the rocket launcher, got the machine gun, got the doom cannon. And that shock came in clutch because I just flared the ER and away it went. So I'll show you the tech to you guys. The only thing that changed since my last video is I went up and I got Kavan here and I maxed out the rocket launcher. And you can see the log doing well. Hit here, I'm on a nine time win streak, working my way up, trying to push for diamond. It's hard, it's tough, but I think we'll make it. Anyway guys, that's the video. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.